Sony's new PlayStation had already sold out online before it launched in Japan, the US and elsewhere on Thursday. The company had anticipated high demand for the curvy 15-inch tall machine, thanks to a spike in video game sales during this year's global health crisis. So, to avoid large crowds in stores, Sony limits meant the only eager gamers in Japan picking up their new machines were those who had pre-ordered. In Japan, some big retailers held lotteries to distribute what limited stock they had. Officially, the PS5 cost 500 US dollars, but on launch day, Japan's flea market platform Mercury had listings selling it at more than 900. No depth I won't explore. The PS5 offers cutting edge graphics that make light and shadow look more real, faster loading times, and a new controller with feedback that can let you physically feel things happening on screen. Analysts expect the shortage of Sony and Microsoft gaming consoles to last into 2021. Microsoft launched two new Xboxes on Tuesday with its initial supply of pre-orders selling out fast. The stakes are high for Sony though. Games are its biggest cash cow. Last fiscal year, its gaming division won nearly a third of Sony's total profit.